So the question today is, once I register for VAT, when must I submit and when will I become liable to pay SARS? Hi, I'm Lynette Harrison and you are watching Accounting ER. There are five possible categories that you could fall into. Let's look at each in more detail. Firstly, we have category A and B. Category A being every second month falling on odd months, which is January, March, May, July, September, and November. Category B being every second month falling on even months, which is February, April, June, August, October, and December. So generally, you would be divided into either category A or B when registering for VAT. There's no apparent reason why you would fall in odd or even months excepting to divide the workflow. Category C is every month. This is for companies that turnover exceed 30 million in any consecutive period of 12 months. This is equivalent to about 2.5 million per month. So, if your turnover was 2.5 million, I'm sure you'd be the first to know and to celebrate after which you would have 21 days to notify SARS. Failure to do so may result in penalties and interest. Category D is every six months, therefore it will be twice a year, in August and February. This is for people that are doing solely farming and the turnover is less than 1.5 million in any consecutive period of 12 months. Or for micro businesses, but they must apply in writing. Category E is once a year. This only applies to a company or a trust that wants their VAT submission to be in line with their annual income tax assessment. The vendor and the recipient must agree on the annual invoicing. And this is only for letting of fixed property and renting of movable goods. So let's have a quick recap. If I register for VAT, when will be my tax period? I will either fall in category A or B being every second month. And this will be allocated once I register. Once my turnover exceeds 30 million I will have to notify SARS so that I can fall into Category C and pay and submit every month. Category D and E must be applied for in writing. So there are generally two ways to submit your return, either manually or electronically via e-filing. Now if you submit manually, you must submit by the 25th of the following month of your VAT period. So if your VAT period had to fall, for example, in March, then you would have to pay and submit by the 25th of April. If, however, you're on e-filing, you've got the added benefits of being able to pay on the last day of the month. So it will be extended to the 30th or the 31st, provided that that does not fall over a weekend. So make sure that if the end of the month falls on a Saturday or a Sunday, that you pay that Friday before. Otherwise, you will include penalties and interest. Thank you for watching Accounting ER. Please let me know in the comment below what your accounting emergency is.